Hey guys, how you doing? You are likely here because you want to learn how to talk to chat while streaming to VR. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that along with a whole load of other things with a piece of software called OVR Toolkit. Uh, it goes for $9.99 on Steam uh, and it's a really cool piece of kit and we're going to go through that right now. So first thing you want to do, we're in game, of course, as you can see. Yeah. We're in game. Now, I want to talk to chat. Best thing to do is to get a window which can pop up over here, which is going to relay to my second monitor. And that'll pop up whenever I want it to. It'll disappear whenever I don't want it to be there. Best way to do that, as I said, is to use OVR. So we're going to go into our options here and we go to our library. Obviously, we've already got into the radius open. If we go into browse all, we'll be able to see our recent but you can also check installed and you'll be able to find OVR Toolkit. Now, as soon as I click start on this, it's gonna open up a window, which is gonna take my current game out of view. So I'm gonna just fix that right now. And here we are. So OVR is currently loading. I'm back in the game and you'll hear a little blipping sound very shortly. There it is. So that means that the OVR toolkit is on my hands and there it is right there. How easy is that? I'm gonna quickly move the mouse out of the way. So those are things that you need to be aware of. It will move the mouse, but once you've got the screens open, you'll be able to move the mouse as easily using your right hand. Now, here we are. We can see we've got the time, we've got the date, and we've got a few really cool tools. Here we can open up to see our performance, our FPS, um, our VRAM, G GPU, CPU usage, all those sort of things. Um, we can see when we started using the app, so that will give you a rough idea of how long you have been streaming for. And of course, you can open a keyboard, you can open a whole load of things, and you can also actually easily just resize it if it's too small for you, or you can add this on as another bar, close it when I want, and it disappears when I'm not using it, right? So it's proximity based. Now, here is where the meat and potatoes is. There's three profiles that I've already got closed, open up. At the moment, I'm gonna close them all and delete them all because what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new profile. So, if I go to my Windows list, I can actually delete all these profiles. I'm gonna delete, do that right now. And here we are, we're on profile one. and we should have a fresh profile, really. This is the first profile, so here we are. When you first open the software, it's gonna look like this. And if you want, you can set up the music. There's a music bar there. If you wanna play music, pause music, no problem. But for now, we're gonna look at uh, talking to chat while streaming to VR. And we're on profile one. What we want to do is we want to go to our Windows list and we want to add a new window. The first thing it's gonna do is it's going to open up our primary window, our first window. But if we go to window settings, we can actually switch this window by pushing switch window and change it to our second display. And there it is. You can look at that. I can actually control things in the second window. So there, there you can see I've got OBS, OBS open and you can see my mouse over there. And this is all my second monitor. So here I would have um, my chat going if I were uh, streaming. Now, all I can really do or all I want to do really is go and change the options. And there are lots of options here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the FPS down to five. And what that will do is basically um, save resources for um, for uh, basically the game because you don't want it to take up too many resources. It's just for chat. Now you can also track it to a device. So here I've tracked it to my left controller. You can track it if you prefer to your right controller. Or if you're crazy, you can track it to your head, which I highly recommend you don't. What I prefer to do is track it to my left controller. And now it's tracked to my left controller action. I can actually move it to wherever I want. 
notice the yellow bar the yellow bar there or the yellow border essentially means that we are editing the window and we can do that with the settings open if i close the settings it's just going to stay like this now obviously that's quite intrusive and i don't want that during gameplay so if we go back to options and obviously we are in window settings we what we will do is we will only sh well first of all we'll do a couple of things one let's make this a bit of a more reasonable size shall we so over there we've got this window resizer now i can put that there yeah, I think that's a good size, you know, if I want to make it smaller, I can, I can make it very tiny. Now here's the meat and potatoes, visibility, only show when in view. That is what makes it great, because now I can play the game, no problem. If I can aim, and then I can whoop, talk to chat, talk to chat whenever I want. And I can change how sensitive this is. I can make it so I've got to really turn my wrist or I can leave it as it is. And those are all in the window options here. So do play around with that and have a fiddle with that. A couple other cool tricks you can do with this. You can add a curve to the window. Look at that. How cool is that? You can curve it completely onto itself if you wanted to. Now, I don't particularly use that one. Um, you can change opacity. So maybe you want to have it just slightly visible so you can see through it. Um, but I, I tend to keep it fully opaque and the other cool thing about this is you can crop bits off so maybe I don't want people to see some sensitive information on the bottom of my screen I can have that cropped and that will stay like that you can see it's completely clear yeah so let's uh, let's turn that crop off and uh, continue and, and that's basically it guys I mean it's a very clever piece of software. Um, as you saw, there was a profile um, setup. So if we go to globe to um, the Windows list, I can add profiles. I can add a new profile there. So I can switch between the two. So now you can see there's no window there. However, if I push one, that's the one that we've just set up. Um, I can uh, obviously with settings closed, I can't change anything. So I can't fiddle with it. I can't you know by mistake push a button the only buttons i will be pushing are the ones that are actually on the second screen look at that how cool is that yeah but if i want to edit it i just go to push the settings button and there it is make it a little bit smaller if i want put it back in close settings and there you have it guys and uh that's it this is how this is how I like to stream when I'm in VR. And uh, you know, if you're playing a shooter, you don't want things to be popping up and getting in your face. You know, it's, it's bloody annoying, but you can look at the watch, here it is. And I really hope that was useful for you guys. Um, easily switch through profiles as well. Super, super easy. I really hope this is useful for you guys. Um, you know, drop a comment if you have any questions, drop a comment if um, there's something you want to add. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys on stream. See you later.